Hey guys, if you are seeing this now and that red button is no longer there, no longer live, and this is a playback, so um, I am on time, shocker. Um, so I am going to go ahead and set this up and um, finish setting up while you guys join me and hopefully I'll be able to see some comments. Um, we're gonna make sure you don't get dumped in the water. Um, I have the iPad, hopefully we'll, I'll be able to I hate the new iPad because it can't find the button on it. There's no button. Hey. Um, so I can never figure out how to turn the sucker on. Because there's no button. They're all buttonless. All right. So. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Oh, oh, there I am. Make sure the sound is down. So I can, um, don't allow. So I can watch you guys. Hey, Jennifer. All right, so I can watch you guys. So if you guys take a gander down here, let me not do that, at the end of the table. So today we're going to dip everything but the kitchen sink okay so i want to show you just how easy marabou easy marbles are to dip all of the things um some of these things we have dipped before um some of these things we have not dipped um let me find a chair River. so we're going to dip shoes today um which i just shared that video that marabou did um a couple days ago which um i'm like oh yeah i gotta dip some shoes we're gonna dip i'm gonna show you some light switches someone mentioned that they wanted to dip some light switches um i found some cool frames some hummingbird feeders so we're gonna do we're gonna do it all okay um and i'm gonna show you just how easy it is um with the marabou easy marble it's super simple anybody can do it hey aaron um, so it's super, super simple. Um, I will show you everything that I used. I will tell you ever, I will tell you all the places that I went, which was Walmart and the Dollar Tree. That was it. Um, most of my little chuchuts come from the Dollar Tree. Uh, we do a lot of dipping classes for kids and, um, that's the best place to look for um, fun things for the kids to dip. Because for a buck, if they ruin them, which no one ever does because you can't ruin a dip, it's super fun, okay? Um, I'm doing a little bit better. Uh, my hands are not so um, angry. I, I'm still waiting to hear back from the biopsy. Um, so we have, um, I added a new tool into my arsenal, which you, if you guys have watched me at any time, You've seen me use this before. Um, this is a little thing. Um, it's a d duster thingy, 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 or whatever. Um, so I usually use it when I do the um, tacket method. But um, if you see in our bucket, our bucket is kind of wonky. Um, we have some stuff. So look, look how cool. It's like you, if you, if those little, um, those little ickies bother you in your water. Just scoop them out like that. Look at that. You can scoop them out and there's no more ickies. Um, I usually don't let the ickies bother me, but when I did the, the neons the other day, it kind of bothered me. So um, I just scooped them out, find my trash can, just like you're scooping like your fish tank or something out, right? Okay. So let's see. You guys might need to... All right. I think y'all can see the water. All right. All right. Um... Hi, Rebecca. How are you doing? Yeah, it's a strainer. It's a little one I got from the Dollar Tree. I use it when I do tacket um, with my glitter. I usually put the glitter in there and then I dust the glitter on top of my tacket. So these are multi-purpose. For a buck, you get a lot of bang for your buck. All right, let me grab some, a couple more things over here that I have prepared. Um, let's see. So I'm going to do some of these things. Actually, before I show you the water, let me show you some of the things we're gonna dip today, okay? So I'm gonna hold you up over here so you can see me at the end of the table. Can you see me down here? Woo! Okay, so um, in our previous classes for kids, we've always, um, we have dipped um, hummingbird feeders, which are really cool. You get these at the Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, whatever, dollar stores. Um, all you do is you unhook 
the part down here and the part up here and you dip it just like you would a cup or anything like that. You don't have to seal this because um, it's, there's no point into sealing it, um, but um, it makes for a really pretty design and um, you, can, you can make it really pretty. You can use glitter on it, you can use the color shift, whatever you wanna do. Um, this is another thing that I picked up at the Dollar Tree around Valentine's Day. It was like a little sign, a little wooden sign. I just spray painted it white and we dipped it. Um, super pretty. I don't know, can you see, am I too far away? Can you guys see that? So that's kind of cute. Look, I mean, it was just like red and pink, love, you know, all the things. Um, we have done, I think we did these on a live before. Um, this one was with the color shift. There's Mr. Nola down there. They're looking at you, Mr. Nola. Would you, you need help finding something? Maybe an idea of maybe where something might be. Purple heat guns. I've seen some in the um, store. No? Okay. If that's not them right there, huh? That double box up there? Um, so we picked these up at the Dollar Tree. This one um, is when I mixed my own chameleons. We did that one. This one, um, very saints, right? So I picked up a couple more of those today. I got these at the Dollar Tree. They come in black and gold, but just for the sake, um, I went ahead and spray painted some white because I think this is gonna be like really cool with the neon, right? All right, so picked up some super cheap switch plate covers. These are all, they all come in white, but because I wanted to do some galaxy ones, I went ahead and spray painted these black. So I'm gonna do these with some of the color shift colors. Um, I have showed you guys our groovy, um, our groovy mushrooms before. I have marbled my face off with how many mushrooms. There are tons of mushrooms in our store. Um, and so I got these Dollar Tree as well. Um, and so we have a few of those. These little pots are super cute. Um, you can put like your little air plants or you can put them on your desk. You can put your paper clips or whatever you want in them. These are really cute dollar store stuff. Um, this is a little planter thing that we had picked up. I believe this is from the dollar store too. Um, you can dip just about anything. So when you're dipping like um, home decor and stuff like that, you don't necessarily have to seal it because they're going on a shelf and nobody's gonna touch that. Look, and then I just drew the little face on it. Isn't that cute? Look how cute. So I'm gonna show you guys, um, I'm gonna just give you a little rundown of some of the things. Uh, you can dip these little canvases, which we've done a lot of classes. We've done these canvases. Hey y'all. Um, and then I actually picked up this little butterfly today at the Dollar Tree. It's like a little candle holder thing. Um, I thought that would be pretty to marble. There's another little one that's uh, pink. These are frames. I just took the backing out of them. So these are gonna be like really cool frames. All of this Dollar Tree stuff, guys. These little things I thought are adorable. I'll go get one that's put together, but these are like little mirrors. So I just took the mirror out and we're gonna dip these. And look how cute are these little decor, home little decor things, even for little kids, like little dudes. Little dudes love dinosaurs and girls love dinosaurs. So you can do girl dinosaurs or boy dinosaurs. So we're just gonna dip, we're gonna dip a lot of stuff today. So the shoes I got, super cheapy, Walmart, $5. Um, Oh, I do have a cactus, look. I have this one. I found this at the Dollar Tree. So most Dollar Trees have some really cool little wooden um, cutout things or whatever. Um, mine is always sold out, but I did manage to snag this. I think this is adorable. This is going on my desk, because I love it. Um, so the shoes I got were um, little slip-ons from Walmart, something really easy. Um, I taped the inside, you don't have to. This is a personal preference. I also taped around the bottom on one pair and then one I didn't. So I can see the difference of what it's gonna look like. 
I might have not needed to tape the bottom. If you don't want to tape the bottom, don't. Um, this is just, I pre-done all this, okay? So, um, but I have a few pairs of shoes. And so when we do the shoes, I actually picked up this camp dry stuff. Um, it's like, um, kind of like Scotch guard or something. So once we do our shoes, I'm going to seal it with this. So, um, I don't think that getting them wet is going to be a problem because it is an oil-based paint and water is not going to affect the oil base in it, but this will keep them easier to clean. Um, you can't really wash them. So this will keep them where you can, um, you could definitely, uh, you could definitely clean them. So, um, yeah. So I think that's pretty much a, a smattering of the things that we're gonna do today. Um, we will just play along. We will find whatever colors that we're gonna do. Um, I think we'll probably do a couple of each thing if, if I don't run out of steam or time or anything like that. Gloves are very important because um, you don't wanna get this stuff all over your hands. People ask, how do you get it off your hands if you do? Um, I use baby oil and sugar like i create my own sugar scrub um so my hands are feeling a little better um i haven't i haven't touched epoxy in a while but i don't think that it's epoxy i think it's just um i'm on a lot a lot of medication right now hey hannah um, so I actually have been sick. I went to the doctor yesterday. I, um, I have a UTI and a bladder infection. And, um, so I have not been, uh, I have not been feeling very good at all. So, um, I just got all kinds of weird stuff. So we'll just, we won't worry about that. All right. So I want to, first thing I do, so I got two pairs of black shoes and a pair of white shoes. So I know for sure that a pair of the white ones. I really want to do the neon colors because hello, neon summer, right? Fun. So I think we're going to jump in and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and start with um, the first pair of shoes. So I have my white shoes. Um, $5, $4 $5 cents, something like that. I got them at Walmart. Uh, you can peel out the inside if you want. I just put a little bit of tape on them. I don't really care, honestly. Nobody's gonna be like looking inside my shoe. So that was just a personal preference for sure. Um, we will be using these colors, all the neon. So we have the pink, yellow, green, and orange. Um, I am gonna go ahead and point you to the bucket so you guys can watch the magic down here. I think all right so you just want to make sure that you shake up your marbles really well before you start dipping all right I'm just gonna go ahead and take my lids off right down here this is the same water that I used to dip the other night so I did not change my water this water has just been sitting here and I'm totally fine with it so we're gonna dip one shoe at a time. So I'm gonna go with the orange, green, and I'm gonna stop right there because I think my green needs to be mixed. So we're just gonna wait a second. I believe my, so when I added that green, um, it didn't, I didn't see a lot of pigment. Yep, so if you're, if you are, if you go to put your um, marbles in your bucket and you don't see color, um, for some of these, they sit and the sediment gets at the bottom. It would be easier if you added some little marble um, BBs, which I'm gonna try to um, figure out which ones we need. So you guys can just pick them up. You can get them on Amazon. I think Mr. Nola said you can just put regular BBs in them, um, but I'm not, really, I'm not really sure. So we're gonna start this over now that my green is colored. So remember guys, I told you how to clean your bucket, just a little piece of cardboard. And it just scooches it to the side. No big deal. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side. If there's floaties in there that you don't want, use your little dollar store strainer, okay? All right, so let's try this again. We got the orange. We got green. Now you can see how the green has turned colors on that on that 
my pink and my yellow which I want more pink and probably a little bit more orange. All right, so that is my first one. I'm gonna grab my shoe um, at the base here and I am just going to drop in like this. Ta-da, checka checka. Look how freaking cool. Isn't that awesome? I'm so excited. All right, let me put this to the side. So that was one. Oh, I can't wait to wear those tomorrow. All right, so then I'm just going to clean the top and um, then I'm gonna um, do it just like that and do the other one. So um, let me try to remember. Um, oh, it looked awesome. I'm gonna show you guys whenever. Um, let me do this other one and then um, I'm gonna put them side by side and then we can see them. Pink, green, yellow, some more pink, and I think I'm almost out of that. All right, so let's hope that I kind of matched it a little bit so they kind of match a little bit. So then straight down, swish. Yes, look -a. that is so cute. Whoa, yes, these are just canvas, $5 canvas shoes from Walmart. So then I will, um, let me see if I can take the tape off so we can see how cute these look. Oh. Y'all, look how adorable. Look, look a look a look a. You got one of a kind shoes. And I think I pretty much matched the colors pretty well. So I, I, they don't, they look like they're a pair instead of um, not a pair. Look, look how cool. I'll have to show y'all afterwards. Look, Mr. Nola, look at these damn shoes. I can't wait to wear them tomorrow. <laughs> so yeah, do you want to read comments? Mm. Want to read comments? Yeah. Um, to help me? You gotta be more talented. I am. All right. So that was that was the neons. Uh, I need more neons. I'm out of neons. We used all the neons. You used all the neons. Mm -mm. Take all that off your check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny because I'm gonna have one of those. <laughs> All right, so that was the um, that was the neon ones. Oh, yes, you can f find some old ones. Whatever, just do whatever. All right, so I think we're gonna do a pair of black ones now. So we're gonna do the black ones, but we're gonna use, um, of course, we're gonna use the color shift. So these I did not tape off, so I will be mindful when I dip to not go all the way down. Why well, won't you? Um, because I like it. It looks really nice white. Those are so awesome. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use glitter violet blue green, metallic teal silver red. Let me make sure that these are nice and mixed up. Did you lose it? No. <laughs> Let me see. Turn around. Oh, because you're on something else now. I'm on your lap. Okay, then. There you go. There's some comments. All right, so um, before I do that, before I use these, of course, I opened them up again just to make sure it's they are stirred up. All the sediment is on there. I don't want to make sure that I don't want to make sure I want to make sure that I'm not wasting um, it in there. I'm going to do that with the other one. So you just snap off the top here with your gloves on. Take your little stick. This one didn't need it, but. I'd rather be safe than sorry. 
Hey, Melissa. No, it's just just having delivery issues and shipping issues and stuff like that I'm dealing with today. Yeah, Mr. Noah is stressed. It, it, it's been a stressful day with shipping problems, UPS problems, USPS problems, I mean. Yeah. It's just a lot going on right now. All right, so I'm gonna, um, I don't want any of that neon on my black ones, on my black shoes. Yeah, so all y'all, they sent me messages about my post this morning about how to ship these products a little better. There's like over 100 in my inbox. I ain't answering <laughs> all of them, but I am reading them. There's a lot. All right, so that's the metallic. I needed to change my gloves. And this is the glitter. I would, Melissa, but I got to maintain the front and answer uh, the phone. That's all my other people are all at the warehouse working. All right, and then I swirled it just a tad. Just a tad. Um, let me change this glove because I don't want this orange on that. Ooh, oh my, because I didn't tape it. Uh, 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 Is that uh, her? I'm trying. My hands are so sweaty. I can't get them in these gloves. All right. Yeah, Don, a lot of USPS is shorthanded right now. <gasps> Yo! Look, Look at these galaxy juice! Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. That was a win. That was a win, 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 win. All right. Ooh, ooh. All right. That was a win. All right, so we're gonna do the other one just like that. So this was the metallic and the glitter one. And then I'm gonna swirl it. Mr. Nola took my thing, so I can't see the comments. Just hold on a second, guys. Ooh, y'all, this is so cute. All right, I'm doing straight down. Oh, oh, look a, look a, look a. Yikes, that is so incredible. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, these are amazing. Oh, okay. So let me go get, hold on guys. Let me go get the iPad so I can answer questions real quick. Yes, so um, the, the shoes, um, you don't necessarily have to seal them, but I am going to use this on mine, um, so it'll kind of make them waterproof. They're oil-based paint, so water is not going to make them, um, water is not going to ruin it, but this way you'll be able to clean your shoes, okay? So, um, oh, y'all, those shoes are $5 at, at Walmart. Five bucks. You can get them probably at five below even. I've seen them at five below. Just some little cheapy canvas shoes. They don't have to be expensive. Um, five bucks, literally five dollars. So I do have some floaties up in there. So I'm gonna take my little scooper duper. Super duper scooper pooper. Y'all ever heard of that? We used to call that when we had a dog. We'd have to go clean the backyard. We would use or whenever you had to um, scoop the cat, this cat litter, you use a super duper scooper pooper. Am I just being silly? All right. Yo! Yes, these are so much fun. Um, yeah, they were just in the shoe section. Just, um, just back there where the regular flip flops and stuff are. They're suit. They were like black ones, white ones. They might have had some other colors, but. Um, Y'all, I'm super excited. Let me see if I can get these comments. My hands are okay. They're a little better, not a lot better. All right, so let me get my gloves back on. Super duper, super duper scooper poopers. <laughs> yeah. Now, I, I, now that I got older uh, and my kids are grown and um, I don't have anybody to empty the cat litter because that was their job, I got one of those fancy cat litter boxes that scoops itself. I know that sounds um, very bougie, um, but it's worth its weight in gold. I don't know if y'all have one of those. <laughs> All right, after we get done, I'm gonna show everything off, okay? 
So let's see, what are we doing next? How about, um, how about a little dino? How about a dino dude? All right, so I want this green and let's do all three of these greens. That looks like dinosaur, like a little, like a dude dino, a dino dude. Like a dino dude. Let me put my lids. I'm going to be in a bad, and actually I'm going to do the um, cactus with these same colors, but let me put my lids back on my other ones up here. I might throw in some of that neon green just be because it's green too. All right. So we're going to do the dino and the cactus. So I have the dark green, right? I have a light green. I have the, whatever, this lime green, and then I have neon green, right? And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the dark because I want it just a little darker. And I'm gonna take my sticky poo and swirl it, attach some of those chunks to the side. And I'm going to put him face down going into the thing. Check that out. Isn't that cool? I don't know if you can see this. Oh, I'm gonna set it. We're gonna go back and revisit all of the things that we dipped um, so you guys can see it. I'll flip the camera around, but oh, that was cute. All right, so I'm gonna do those same colors and do my cactus. My little wooden cactus. Now you can, these little wooden pieces, you can get them pretty much any craft store or whatever. I got this one at the Dollar Tree. Um, sometimes it's better if you spray them, um, but I'm just lazy, so we're not. And so this time, instead of doing them all separately, I'm just gonna take all four of them and shake them together. Like that. You can, you can shake and add any way you want to. And then I'm gonna take this and I am going to, huh, I don't know. Let's see if I go down like just like a dual cup. Yes, check that out. Look at that. Look how cool that is. So I'll paint the bottom a solid color, but look how cute. And if you don't like that side, you have this side too. Isn't that freaking awesome? I love that. Okay. Love that. Love that. Love that. All right. Super happy with that, right? Paints and glitter. <laughs> Um, okay, that I, I don't know which one I like the best. So I think I'm gonna do another dino and I'm gonna dip it like I did that. So I'm gonna do, um, let's see, we wanna, so this one, that was a boy dino. So we have this one, the same thing. Let's make this a girl dino. So let me put my lids back on. My thingy thingies, that's the neon. I'm gonna have to go grab some neon. This is the light green. It's very important to put your lids back on, your marbles, so it does, they don't dry out. And that way you don't lift them up and shake them because you need to shake them and they get all over you. These green gloves came from ele elegance.com. Um, it's a hair supply store and they were relatively cheap. Um, I have to get a bunch of sizes because we got a bunch of different sized hands around. So... All right, so I'm gonna do pinks. So I'm gonna do hot pink. I'm gonna do the rose pink. I'm gonna do um, rose taupe and probably rose gold. So I am mixing some of the old colors with the new colors, but so this is, this is gonna be my pink dino. Yeah, you can do, you can, um, you can put bling on that. You can do all kinds of stuff. 
Look at my cactus, Mr. Nola. Oh, it's right here, baby. I moved it over because you left me hanging. Well, well. Go uh, check out a customer. Look at our look at the cactus. Oh, that's cool. That's cool, huh? The shoes don't match. The designs are different. <laughs> you got to make them the, the yeah, same. Yeah, uh -huh. that's not gonna happen. <laughs> They're going to be. So again, this is the rose gold. Just pop that top off before I start, and I'm just making sure all of that. Um, sediment and that color stuff is mixed in the bottom so what you got your green gloves um i got it at the elegance.com it's a hair supply place they have all kinds of different colors this was the only place that was um the dinos all this stuff we bought at the dollar tree yes all dollar tree stuff go to the dollar tree they got all these kind of cool little trinkets and stuff that you can see that you can make so much better and it's only a buck Find a good Dollar Tree that has good stock. Yeah. Some of them don't have very good stock. Hey, Michelle. All right, and then. Melissa, don't you go nowhere. All right, so. All right, so I'm gonna use rose gold, rose taupe, neon pink, and the rose pink, and we're gonna make a girly dino. Dee Dee, don't give up. Practice on some styrofoam cups and stuff like that. Practice on anything. Yeah. Yeah. So again, I'm gonna, um, oops, I'm gonna get the funky. I'm gonna use my pooper scooper to make sure I get all of that green out of there. I don't want absolutely no green on my pink. So I got my little pooper scooper. Ready? No green. So I have both. I'm gonna, all of them at one time. Which dollar tree did you go to? I went to the one on Lapalco. On Lapalco? Yeah. Dollar Tree on Lapalco is where she went. Yeah. Probably bought everything, huh? Pretty much. But yeah, don't go there. She cleaned them out. Yeah. So go to the one on um, on Bell Chase Highway. All right. That, that one usually has lots of cool stuff there. All right. The work temperature is room temperature. So we are going to make our girl dinosaur. So here we go. And dip a dip a dip a dip a whoop, drop a drop a drop a. There is our girl dino, and so I'll show you what these look like. These have little mirrors that pop back in it, so hey, there's Daddy. like little dinosaur mirrors. So I have a girl and a boy. Ooh, that one's pretty. See, with all Ooh. the kids at home. This be some great boredom busters. Take yes. them to the Dollar Tree. And Spend let them twenty pick. bucks. And they could get ten items each. Yep. All right. I had to get you the dipping kit, and you could dip so much stuff. A little bit goes a long way with the with the Marabou Easy Marbles. Yeah. That's a good thing. All right. So I'm gonna let my hands dry for a second. Clean this bucket out. What do y'all want to dip next? We have light switches, we have picture frames, we have little love signs, which I wanna do a neon love sign. I need to go, can you go grab, um, I need another neon green. This one's out and on my nerve. a neon orange and a neon pink. I know I'm working your nerve, but you're the best helper in the world. Right? Yeah, Kelsey, don't give up on trying the Marabou's. It, it takes a little bit of uh, practice. Not, like, like we say, practice on some dollar store stuff. Some stuff you can find around the house. Styrofoam cups. Yeah, you have little practice. you have little ch chotskis and stuff around your house. I bet you that you're like, oh, yeah, that's cool. You could dip it in practice and you'll be good to go. Yeah, it's easy. Make sure your, your bucket of water is room temperature water. Yep. This is the same water that was set here since our last live. Yep. Same Absolutely. exact water bucket. All right. Same water. So let's neon, because I'm in love with the neon. If Mr. Noah will go get the neon. We're going to neon some frames. We'll neon a love. Let's do some color shift on this black frame. Dollar store plastic frame. I just popped out the back side so I can make it dippable. I'm going to use metallic green violet silver. And um, lilac. I'm going to use these two colors. 
Let me make sure. Um, where did these go? Whoops. Whoa. I am a bad dipper. The dog tag, that might hold up pretty good if you, if you dipped it. But like with anything, the more you rub on it, I mean, anything's gonna wear down. Yeah. If it's a decor item, you don't have to seal it. You're just gonna put it on the shelf and nobody's really gonna be messing with it. Um, I don't seal any of my decor items. Let me make sure this is mixed. Leslie, why are you watching Facebook instead of working? <laughs> they watch while they work, Mr. <laughs> Nola. <laughs> Busted. You are so busted. <laughs> All right. So on this frame, I'm going to use metallic green, violet, silver, and this new lilac, which is an op opaque. Um, does the label indicate which ones are color shifts? Yes. Yes. It does. It, it does state on top of the label what color shifts they have in there. Yeah. I will show you. It's a really cool feature that they just added. I love. So if you see... The top of this, I don't know if it's a focus, but you can see it'll tell you what color and it'll actually show you the shifts. So it's really cool. Connect, whoa, Wayne. Yeah, Lori, she can multitask. The, the, the NOLA crew works really hard and they yeah. do a great job. Yeah, they like to watch while they're down there working. All right, so we're gonna do a frame. We're gonna do the color metallic one down first. Shake it like hot sauce. Shika, 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 shika. This lavender is gorgeous. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that color shift. I'm gonna swirl it just a little bit, just to spread it over my. Uh, each bottle can last a good while, but it all depends on what you're doing. You can do one project and use a whole bottle, and you can do multi colors and use a bottle. So it's, it's, it's a lot of. So I'm gonna do last, this uh, slanted. What exactly you're doing? Ooh, look at that! Look at that color shift. Ooh, this is super pretty. I'm gonna turn you guys around when we're done, so you can get like a really good view of all the stuff that we've dipped. But let me just tell you, this is beautiful. So now remember guys, Look. all but the shoes, all the stuff was bought at the Dollar Tree for yes. a buck a piece. Easy breezy dollar. All right, so let's see. I have a little bit left in here. Let me see if I can just go ahead and dip this. Well, you know what color to start with? It depends on you. Do you like pink? Use pinks. It's Look at that. I didn't even take that I didn't even take the marble off the top. I just went ahead and used what was left on this. Now I have a matching set. Oh, super pretty. All right, I'm gonna change my gloves again. All right, so I think we should neon some stuff because I'm uh, loving the neon. You can use both, care. You can use metal frames, wood frames, anything that can be submerged in water. Remember, yep. you're dipping stuff in water. I wouldn't do your iPhone right. or your iPad, TVs and stuff, but anything that can be wet and dried out, you can dip. So I've seen people that um, will take their Nintendo or PlayStation controllers apart and dip the outside of their controllers um, and then seal them with like a, a epoxy and then put them back together, which are really cool. Um, let's see. Let's see. Here. But right now we're using plastic frames. Yeah, these are just plastic Dollar Tree, right. easy breezy Dollar Tree stuff. Um, let's see, neon. Let me make sure, let me put my lids back on all of this and then make sure my neon colors are shook up and we're going to do, we're going to do a neon frame. We're going to do a neon love. We're going to do a neon. Yes, you can do this on glass tiles. Mm -hmm. You can do it on anything. You can do it on anything. Anything that can get wet, you can dip. What do you use the silver shoes with? Um, I, you don't really need to seal them with anything, but I bought this because I'm I want to make them to where they're easy to clean. They're oil-based paint, so water is not going to ruin them if you get them wet, um, but you just cannot clean them. So something like this or Scotch Guard is all you need. No, Tina, it won't be sticky. It's paint. It dries just like regular paint. Yep. 
So it will not be sticky once it's fully dry. Yep. Which what takes an hour, if that, to yeah. really fully cure. The shoes might take a little bit longer because they're cloth. And they're wet. And they're wet, right. um, really wet. wet so water. by the tomorrow, that by the tomorrow. By the tomorrow. By the tomorrow, they'll be nice and dry, um, and I will be able to wear them. Could you put it on t-shirts? Um, I don't see why not. You can, but you're not going to be able to wash it. It's not a washable. It's not a washable um, product. So, um, well, we do have tie dye stuff where you can actually make tie dye T-shirts. Right, but I would not use this on wearable, like a shirt. You can do it on your maybe your apron, maybe or um, maybe a um, a carrying bag, a, a beach bag, or something like that. But I wouldn't do it on anything that you would um, essentially want to wash because it's not going to be washable. Mm. Now, and, if you did paver bricks uh, and you put them outside, yeah, I would sell them with something to help protect them from the rain and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't know what you would use for that though. It's probably any kind of clear sealer clear or sealer. something like that, or lacquer. Uh, something not, that um, can seal an right. oil based. Seal an oil based, right? If you're going to leave them outside. All right. So I have all of my neons all mixed up. And so we are gonna dip first Kayla, thing. Kayla, it is room temperature water. Not warm, not cold, set at room temperature. Best way to get started is get your bucket of water, set it outside, or excuse me, set it and let it sit overnight to room temperature. Yep. All right, so we're going to do, we're gonna do three. Neon is my crazy favorite. So we're gonna do a frame, we're gonna do a light switch cover, and we're gonna do a love. And we're gonna use the same colors because that's what we're doing. Um, but I wanna add, I do wanna add perhaps just a Yeah, touch. you can dip turners. I would just take the electronics out of the turners mm -hmm. and dip it, then put them, reassemble them. Yeah, dip the wood part and then put them together. Yep, put them back together. All right, so. You don't want the electric motors to get wet. Right, so here is neons. We are going to um, double shake. I seem to kind of like that, if you can get them in your hands like don't this. all at the same time. Yeah, that's there what I'm saying. Go. Shake a little here. the same time. Leave me alone, Mr. Nola. This one is not shaking very well. Because you're using the wrong hand. I need you to leave me alone, Mr. Nola. Ooh, ooh, the left hand ain't working like your right hand. I know. All right. So, um, I don't think I'm going to do, I don't think I I'm going to move that around. Yeah, don't move around. Check that out. Gorgeous. Kansas, uh, the sprayers I still have sitting right here from last time. They're perfect. They work just as fine as last time. Yep. Get the fine spray mist on top of the water so the insides and guts held up on them pretty well. Yeah. No, no problems. They didn't break down at all. Yep. All right. So we'll clean this top off. I'm going to do the love Pull next. This up. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. I'm going to use my scooper pooper duper pooper scooper thing. Ooh. Oh. Mr. Noel's got to be professional. Hold on while this commercial break. <laughs> Interrupted by phone call from a lovely customer. Hold on. Mr. Noel's glitter. Do we make them? No, we don't. Uh, we don't have actually time to make them when we sell them, but yeah, we don't make them. All right, so. All right, no problem. We're going to do the same colors again. We're going to do on this love because I love it. So I am just gonna do them singly. Yes, we would recommend sealing a plastic foam case after dipping, just because it's in your hands a lot, it's yeah. rubbed on a lot. So if you put some kind of seal on top, it, it will prolong the life of the paint. Yeah, and that way um, it doesn't scratch. I would put... Um, I dare you to call me Melissa. I dare you to call me right now. All right, so I'm not gonna say no. That might be my doctor's office, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put this face down. Hey, Andrew, yeah, we're doing all right. <gasps> Look at that! Ooh, I just missed this one little spot right there. Oh, look at the colors on there. All right, so 
Um, I'm gonna set this down because this area, I want to dip just that corner, but look, look at the colors on here. I'm gonna turn you guys around when we're done, y'all, and y'all gonna see all this stuff, and you're gonna be like, whoa. Ooh, 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 ooh. There's my neon set, so fancy. All right. All right. No, I don't, Melissa. So now I need, uh, I need a, um, a light switch cover to match, so I'll have a whole little matching set. So when your when your cardboard gets yicky, just chunk it in the trash and just grab another. Yeah, Nicole, corner. I got about 100 p.m.s right now. I should have rethought that before I made that post. Mm -hmm. Asking you shall receive. <laughs> so we're gonna use our but pooper I'm get, scooper. I'm gonna get through them. I'm not gonna answer all of them, but the one with the best, I will announce in. All right. So one will more. Be my one more. I'm gonna do one other color with this. So I'm really missing a blue in this neon. Um, hopefully that we have some pull. Um, that'll be the next color um, in the neon lineup. But instead, I'm gonna add a little bit of this aqua to kind of see if that's the color that I need. And I think it might do what I need it to do. And... The Mod Podge acrylic seller work on the Marabouts before applying epoxy. Y'all, I just found our blue for our neon. That's cool. Looka, looka, looka. Ah! Okay, what was the question? Song? Mod Podge acrylic silk. I don't know. I've never tried that. We've never tried the Mod Podge acrylic siller on the Marabou Inks before epoxy. I'm so excited. We use regular Mod Podge and the Marabou silk. Yes, the aqua sealer. The aqua sealer. All right, let me take these gloves off. Y'all, I love the blue in there. Okay, so all of you that are missing blue in your neon, go ahead and grab the aqua. This is from the original colors. You will not miss your blue. It's not exactly a neon blue, but it's the perfect blue to um, complement those neon colors. So it's aqua. It's the first, it's from the first round okay so um i am super happy that i have a little blue now so um real happy real happy real happy don't give up nicole practice makes perfect use something around the house use styrofoam cups to practice with so any of my local ladies having problems um don't give up come by the shop and let me show you sometimes it's it's it, it's a little it's more than just um, it's just as easy as me showing you here and then you can do it here with me and uh, then you get an idea I don't mind showing you our, our dip stuff is usually set up all the time either here or um, in my studio so if you are local and you're having problems just come by and tell us We'd love to get you. Um, yeah, come by. We'll, yeah. Show, we'll show you. We'll show you. We'd love to get you set up so you can um, start dipping and loving it like we do. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Now, what else? What else? What we're going to do next? The light switches can be bought anywhere. I got these at Walmart. Walmart. They're probably Walmart cheaper stores. at like um, Lowe's or something. No, I mean, Lowe's are probably more expensive. You think? So they only had white at Walmart, but um, so I just, the one, I just spray painted them black. You could or spray paint them whatever color that you need them to be. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Nicole, when dipping cups, there would be a little bit of a pushback because you're trying to dip a cup and not let the water go into the cup. Right. So there would be a little bit of a pushback. All right, let's see. I think we're gonna do, how about? Uh, we've used this water from the last live, so mm -hmm. we hadn't even replaced it yet. So no. you can keep reusing the water many times. Yeah. So I'm gonna do this cloud, I'm gonna do it blue. Um, I'm gonna use gray blue, one of the new ones, the gray blue turquoise and the azure blue from last time. So two old ones and a new one. So I have shooken them, shooken them, shooken them. Shooken them. I have shooken them up. You shaking them or are you shooken them? I shook them, I shook them up. Shook them. Shook them up. That gray blue is super pretty by itself. Hello, Joanna. This is the azure blue, which is um, a darker blue. Kendra, you could use any kind of bucket shape. It does not matter. Just as long as, as the depth of it is going to be deep enough for your project. Right. 
It does not matter if it's square, if it's round, if it's triangle, star shape, it does not matter. Just as long as it's deep enough for you to be able to And you have submerge. the surface space right. for, to put your project. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna go down. Ew, 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 ew. Mm. Look at that. So when we put the mirror back in here, this is gonna be fantastic. Which we'll do that when we get done. All these will be um, dry and I'll make sure to take pictures. Um, so we might need a blue frame. Let's see if I can just dip this same, same stuff. So I didn't, I didn't put any more paint in the top of that. I had plenty of paint to be able to do that one too. That's pretty. Hey, Jennifer, you better say, hey, Jennifer. She says she's kind of jelly. She <laughs> don't get, everybody gets a hey by her. That's why I'm being quiet, because I don't want to answer. And um, Jennifer, thank you so much for lunch today. We appreciate it. Yeah, lunch was awesome, Jennifer. Yes, that was a very, that was very kind thank of you. you. And um, our bellies, thank you. <laughs> Could you mix glow on it dark into the clear easy marble? You can, yes. I don't see why not that wasn't, that wouldn't work. As long as it's glow in the dark acrylic, all base, excuse me, all base paint, or maybe like the glow in the dark. Uh, micas. Micas. Yeah, so we actually have done that before, the glow in the dark. Um, we have did the glow in the dark micas before, uh, and it's really cool. No, Terry, these are plastic cheap frames from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree all the way. But you can use wood, you can use metal, anything. Yep, anything you have. All right, and gloves. I realize I'm using a lot of gloves, but my hands are okay. All right, so let's see. Um, I have one more pair of shoes. I'm still expecting that phone call, Melissa. So I have one more pair of shoes that I want to dip some. So I did those that color. So uh, let me find. That was. Yeah, Nicole, you can mix the colors together in, in, in anything. In yeah. glass spray bottles or anything and make some new colors. I think that's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. So I'm going to do mix this. Mix them together. See what you can create. Um, Light switch, can, I've seen them at the Dollar Tree, seen them at Walmart, seen them everywhere. All right, so I'm gonna use mistletoe, a new one. I'm gonna use the glitter blue, green, gold, which is a new one. And then I'm gonna use the pearl white. And I'm gonna do this other pair of shoes. So I had two black pair of shoes because I really wanted color shifty shoes. Uh, and so um, I got one color and so this is totally different color scheme that I'm going with this is a little different style um, they didn't have another pair of the same ones but basically these were like ten dollars versus five dollars same same deal slip on little canvas shoes no big deal hey Jackie if it's bare wood yes I would recommend on selling it with something first yeah just a coat of spray paint primer right something to seal the wood with because it will Bare wood will absorb stuff, so it's kind of like priming your walls when you paint your house and stuff like that. Yeah. You do wood need to prime bare wood. Mistletoe is gorgeous. Pearl white is. Really the spray good. bottles we had some. We put some on a website. We don't know if we got any left from the last live, but I will check to see if there's some available. Yes. It's something that we created. We didn't realize that would work. So we don't have a bunch of them. All right, so I'm just gonna do this just like I did the other one, straight down. Oh, those look like alligator skin. Look at that. What? Okay, I'm, oh, 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 oh. This is like glitter camo or something. Oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Carol Kimberly, she's gonna show everything that she. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go back. I'm a, I want you guys to see up close when right, we're done. So she's gonna go back over everything that she's did. Woo, woo. All right, so this is mistletoe. I did the mistletoe. I did um, the. Double sided pearl. sticky tape is on the way. Shipping times are crazy right now for incoming shipments and outgoing shipments. Yes. It's, it's, it's crazy right now. We're trying, guys. 
But right. we will not run out again, trust me. Promise you that. All right, and then same down. Look, 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 look. It's like alligator skin. Ah, super cool. Look at that. Okay, okay, I'm trying to calm down. I'm <laughs> trying to calm down. All right, take my gloves off. All right, let me close this up so we can move along to something else. Thank you, right. Barbara. Don't forget to show off your stuff. All right. That you create. All righty. So now, what do we have left? Let's do... Um, Did you do a bird feeder? I have not. All right, so let's do, let's do a hummingbird feeder. You know we need to do this neon, too, because, I mean, hello, right? So these are from the Dollar Tree. Super simple. They just pop off. They unscrew the top here. We put that at the bottom. Come on down, Jamie. We're here. Take this off. Um, I will dip it like this, like I did, like I would a cup. Um, I will clean. Let me get my gloves on. This sure is going through a lot of gloves, Miss Tony. You better leave me alone. My hands are like, I can't scrub them to get the stuff off. All right. So. Oh, and then we'll do um, we'll do some color shift on the, one of the love signs. Miss Webb. That's Jennifer. Miss Webb. <laughs> you better answer that. That might not be her. <laughs> Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? Answer that phone. <laughs> Miss Webb. <laughs> we had those once a time, but Miss Nola went through all of them. <laughs> What's that? What did I go through? Oh, did she now? <laughs> what? Uh -huh. I can't say that on the live. Y'all are bad. So there's the orange yes, neon. We got you. Here's the pink Alrighty. neon. Yellow neon. Miss Webb. Green neon. Will you sell the hummingbird feeder? Uh, nope, I don't. I wouldn't. Probably not. Mm -mm. I didn't seal the other one. But it's never been outside in the weather. Right. But so if you put it outside of the weather, you might put something over it, make it last a little longer. Maybe not. So there you go. So these are these are translucent. The neon colors are translucent. Got you, Miss. So Ms. you can Melissa um. Reed. So you can see through it. Let me show you the one that we did before. So this is so that way you can actually still see how much feeder that you have. This one was like white and turquoise. So you can do, if you want it to be more orangey, we can do like a fiery theme on the other one. So it's kind of like matches. Kids love to dip those, that's their favorite. So we will do neon orange, we'll do cherry red, and um, medium yellow on the next one. So we kind of create like a little fire. Let's so y'all remember, all this stuff is bought at the Dollar Tree. Yep, for all a of it. Buck each. My Dollar Tree loves to see me coming over there. They're like, "Oh, what has she got now?" And they know if I put one thing in the buggy, if they have more than one, I always have more than one. I was very happy to see those love signs today, though. I thought I had missed them from before. All you right. You know what been a good idea, Miss Nola? What's that? If we could buy these love signs mm -hmm. for a buck. Yep. Dip them, uh -huh. bring them back to Dollar Tree, sell them back for two bucks. <laughs> two bucks, it makes some money. Makes some money. Yeah. So this is the neon orange, which is kind of a translucent. There's the red, which is kind of opaque. And then medium yellow. When you dip glass, do you have to seal it? It depends what you're using the glass for. Yeah. If you use it every day. Like what would you use? Right. What would you use? What would you dip it for? Because there's some of these trinkets that we're dipping are made of glass and things like that, but we wouldn't sell them. Look at that. So that's the first. And because um, I didn't have a grip on it, I didn't get the bottom part. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna flip it over and dip the other side. That's pretty. That's cool. I love that one. All right, so let me clean off the top of my water. So, a lady says, uh, Nicole says when she dipped her tacket cut, the tacket glue got gummy. Hmm. I have never had that happen. And I have dipped 
I mean, that's, we have dipped thousands of tacket cups. Now, was, um, did you have too much tacket on your cup, perhaps? You shouldn't have very much tacket at all. Like, it should be so thin, you don't even know you have glue on your cup. And did you, um, did you dilute your tacket? Yeah, that doesn't, um, that shouldn't happen because there shouldn't be that much tacket on it. So I think maybe it wasn't diluted. Was it diluted? All right, and so I'm just gonna flip because I only did one side. I'm gonna flip this and I'm going to and this side didn't get it. Get on there. There we go. Is that like a triple dip? Yeah. Quadruple dip. Quadruple dip. And there you go. So when you put it back together, it'll be it'll be pretty. Yeah, that was a double triple dip type of thing. All right. Um now we're gonna do a couple more and then we will call it a day. Heavy so, clumps. Does it mean you're using too much paint? Yes. Yes, you're using too much paint if you get heavy clumps. So a way to um, stop that, um, I know that you want a lot of paint because I'm very heavy handed when, I, when it comes to paint as well. Um, I take my little skewers and I'll swirl it around and you can see, you can kind of see the clumps on the top of the water. And so I'll just poke them with the, the skewer to kind of break them up. That's all you have to do. She says she did a tacking on a glass cup, still loaded at 50, 50 and added crew juice and did a tack it as usual, then dip dipped it a few days later i don't know i've never i've never right. ran into that it shouldn't have yeah it up. shouldn't have gummed up at all all right so i'm gonna use green red gold have we used this one yet green red gold metallic and a green red gold glitter on this love sign <clears throat> Um, this one needs to be stirred up. We would love to come for a visit, Brianna. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? Anywhere but here. Good gravy. <sighs> Feels like we've been... Shepherdstown, West Virginia. Oh, cool. I've never been to West Virginia. Okay. Cool. So, these, the two I'm going to use on this love is the glitter green, red, gold, and metallic green, red, gold. So they're kind of matchy, but not. I'm gonna use my handy dandy pooper scooper to get all this um, red and orange out of here because I don't want to contaminate my pretty thing. What would you sell glass mason jars with? What are you gonna do with the mason jar? What are you gonna do with the mason jars? Because if you go put them on the shelf or keepsakes or just use them for storage, you probably don't need to sell them with anything. If you're gonna if you're gonna drink out of them, you would need to epoxy them just like you would any other kind of. After this quick commercial break, <laughs> messing all this glitter. Do we have what? Yeah, Miss Nola used all of them, unfortunately. I didn't even get to try them out. What? <laughs> so this love? <laughs> my bucket is almost not big enough. Ooh, look at that. look a look -a. Oh, 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 this is so Mardi Gras. There's a little bit of orange from the side of the bucket. Oh, I can't wait to flip y'all around and show y'all the things. Stash jars. She's making stash jars out of the mason. Um, I don't, I, I mean, it would be cool to, um, epoxy them just because, I mean, do you have a way to epoxy them like regular cups? Because I think that would be really cool. Yeah, it would be cool. Yeah, to be, they would be very shiny. Um, these look like color shift tiger print. Oh, 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 that's so cool. All right. So we're gonna do one more thing. Let's do. Let's yes, do this they do butterfly. have the, the love signs at the Dollar Tree. Yep. That's where she got them. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. All right. So I'm gonna do um, this butterfly, and um, we are using the 
Marabou Easy Marble dipping paints that we have on our yes. website. I'm We're using do this plain old water. water in the water. We're yes. just dripping the paint on top of it. All right, so I'm gonna use, let me see what this metallic gold green and um, a dark blue, this azure blue would do on this blue ceramic. So could you just brush a small layer of epoxy on? Yeah. Yes. You, you wanna seal it first with, um, um, with Mod Pod. Why is this not going anywhere? Do y'all see how this is just sitting on the top? There's a new, yeah, so I, didn't, I, did, I forgot to clean the top of my bucket. Water temperature of the water is room temperature. Room temperature, just sitting, sitting yep. over here, chilling. It's been over here since we dipped. We'll put last. you some water in a trash can and let it sit overnight. Let it get room temperature. You, I have a lot of floaties up in here now. Don't do me. Don't, don't be me. All right. Let me. Swipe it one more time. Yes, Mod Podge, then epoxy. Make yep. sure your Mod Podge is completely dry before you epoxy. Yep. But yeah, you could definitely um, just brush on epoxy. That'd be cool. So that is the blue. And then this is... Yes, you could dip a rubber tiger. All right. So, nope, that was a no because I, I grabbed something that was not mixed and... <sighs> Miss Nola. Yep. Slow down. All right, so this one wasn't mixed. I mixed all the other ones, but I did not take the chance to mix that one. I don't know what this is. Dang it. This one is clearly not mixed. I want to ask Miss Nola, too, when y'all shake y'all's easy marble, <laughs> make sure the lids are tight. Yes, please. <laughs> you will get leopard spots and, and yeah. weird colors. <laughs> yeah, so it's a good idea. Don't shake open bottles of stuff. Yeah, no, that's, um, it's yeah. definitely a mess. Yeah, it makes and a mess. People think you have, um, people think that you have uh, tattoos. Oh, no, what was this? I don't even know what's going on here. What are you doing, Miss I Nola? don't know. Quit asking me questions. You're freaking me out. I don't know which is which. I just did that one, but I don't think I did this one. I think because it's so hot in here, I'm like sweating. Yeah, this one's it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. No, mm, that's just a noop. I'm getting hot. I'm gonna all take right, my clothes so we're going to use metallic blue, gold, green, and the azure blue, and we're going to do it on this butterfly chachutzi thing. Chotsky. And someone's asking to dip one of those glass things up there, too, like one of those drawers. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, Heather, she probably will. What? Get me. Yeah, um, yeah. She's the one who invited me. She's got to put up with me. Yes, this is true. He said, come help me. So I'm here helping. Help. <laughs> <laughs> you told me to read the comments. Look how cool that looks. That's super pretty. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, and that color shift on that blue. All right. I think I have a little bit left. Nope, not enough. I want to do that again with on this. No, on that other blue one. All right. So I want to use this blue one and use those paint the same. So this was that metallic color shift and this was the dark blue. And it's a little swirly, swirly whirly. And then just a little. Look, you can see the color shift on that. Even though that's not black, you can definitely see the color shift on that. That's cool. Ooh. I like a, I like a. Alright. Let's see, what else? Oh, this table. Candy, you just have to shop around at the dollar store. They can be anywhere in there. Yeah, down the home decor aisle, um, the craft aisle. I found it down. Um, they have like a little section in the front of the stores, like um, last minute buy things or whatever sometimes they have cool stuff in there um let's see 
What else? What else? What else? You want to do a psychedelic mushroom? A little psychedelic mushroom here. The old colors on the website is in the same drop down and a different drop down menu. Just go to the Marib search Marabou. You'll see two different listings. There's two different listings. One says Marabou uh, colors and the other one says Marabou new, new colors. colors. Yep. Right. And the good thing about the old colors and the new colors is you need them all. Yeah, you need them all. You need to be able to mix and match. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do a neon, a neon mushroom. I went through a, a little phase where I, I was in love with these mushrooms and I had ton, oh no. Yes, Mary, you could dip tumblers. Look, look up. Just, just yeah. dip away, you don't have to. Uh, yeah, we have plenty, we've, we've yeah. done plenty of tumblers. Yes. Plenty of tumblers. This is just showing that you can do other things besides. All right, guys, I'm gonna use aqua, hot pink, I mean neon pink and neon orange. Look at these colors together. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Hey, Christine, she'll go back over all the colors you used for stuff. Yep, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna. i go back through and show everything. Ooh, and this aqua. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> These are the colors I love. Look at it. Oh, all right, all right. So that's not good enough because that was a, a hold tight. Why wouldn't that good enough? Huh? Because it was a spray painted silver. Look at that. Ooh. All right, so that's not good enough either. Yeah, there should be some red paint in the old colors. Yeah, so we have two reds. We have a um, ruby red, and then we have a cherry red. So there's there's red in the other one. So these are just, um, this is, the new colors are filling up uh, their, um, color cat their color catalog. They're just expanding. So there was, a, there was great colors in the... Um, in the first round. So this is just expanding on those. Right. And we got some, some some new kits coming soon. Yes. Y'all going to love. Yes. But of course, shipping times is outrageous right now, so it just, they delayed. All right, so I love that color combo so much. The pink, the orange, and the aqua. I wanna do a picture frame. So this is the neon orange, which I'm almost out of. This is the aqua. Super pretty neon pink. I'm gonna add just another little shake of the aqua. And this is my dollar store frame. And I'm going to look how pretty. Oh, I love those colors together. Mm, mm, mm. I love them. I love these colors together. I love that aqua. Alright. So, let's see if I get this. Show us your creations, Rebecca, when you get them when you use them. Alright, so I'm gonna pull y'all down. I think um Yes, Rosie, double-sided sticky tape is on the way. Shipping times is delayed. We will not run out again. Trust me. Promise, pinky promise. I could double side the sticky tape the whole town and we're not gonna run out <laughs> next time. <laughs> we're not gonna run out. All right, guys. So let me turn you guys around and I'm gonna grab a chair because I am tired. So let's show you what we have dipped. All right. So we dipped this. This is a little frame. It's gonna have a mirror in it. I'm gonna take um, pictures uh, of all of it put back together this is one of the little frames that we did this is our color shift of love look at this this is mardi gras look at this this is my favorite two combinations this is uh, 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 love it all right <clears throat> this is our neon love which i have one little corner up here at the right i'm gonna try to fix that or i might just add like some bling or something Thanks, Nicole. This is when I decided that aqua was um, a great neon 
additive to give us that little blue pop of blue. This is orange, pink, and um, aqua. I love that. That is like so summery. This is my full neon frame. I'm gonna put all of these together, guys, and I'm gonna take pictures um, and post them in the group so you guys can see them like really nice. This was my butterfly candle holder. You can see I used color shift on this. So it did pick up a little bit. It gives it like a pearl color, super pretty. Y'all, this is fantastic. Look at the color shift on here. Oh. Yes, Aaron, yes, something bow, flower, something like that. Here was my color shifted um, galaxy light, pl light plate cover. Here is my girl dino. She's cute, but I think I love the boy dino um, just as much. Look how cute. And so these guys have little mirrors that go in it. So this is super, super cute, right? Here is my little cactus. My little um, wooden cactus. Both sides came out super cute. This was a dollar store. Look, guys, this came from the Dollar Tree, right? Both sides of my cactus are pretty cool. Um, I'm going to decorate this, and I'm going to paint the bottom. This is going on my desk. All right, so y'all have to see these shoes. So this was, these kind of look like color shift um, tiger print. Am I right? Does that not look like Color Shift Tiger Print? Um, they are sloppy all over, Nicole. This is like a Color Shift Tiger Print. Purplish frame. I'll get the colors. I'm not, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, Terry. I'll post the colors. I know it was lavender and it was um, a metallic. Yo, look at that. These look like... That looks like a chameleon tiger print. Um, yes, I have dipped three pairs of shoes today. So this was, this is my chameleon tiger. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, this is my galaxy ones. So these are, these are some black ones that I did with some galaxy. So this is the pair. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold them. Look at that, right? super pretty I mean who doesn't want chameleon shoes right and then here are my neons which I'm super proud of my neons check it they are so cool I can't wait to wear these I'm so excited so excited so yeah I'm very happy you can get these. Okay, so these were $5 at Walmart, $5.57. Um, $5.57. They were out of the other two, so I got these. These were like $10, bucks, okay? I, I just used um, the green frog tape. You can use whatever tape you want. Um, look at me. I'm sweating. Oh, my God. Um, oh, yeah. Miss Beth Payton would love to dip his shoes. Um, so I just used painter's tape. You don't really need, so these, I didn't even tape, I didn't even tape off on the outside. So it doesn't really matter. So like if you're doing like on a black pair, you, you don't, even if you go over the edge, you can't see, but I just used just whatever kind of paint on the inside. If, if you care about that, um, probably next time I won't care. It was just something that I did. Um, so Yes, those alligator shoes are to die for. I Hopefully they will dry so I can wear them tomorrow, but I'm so excited about my alligator. Um, you don't necessarily have to. I bought this at Walmart, the camp dry stuff. Um, it's water repellent, which I don't think I really need because this is an oil-based paint and water is gonna repel off of it anyways, but just in case, um, I bought this. This was like six bucks and you can seal probably a bazillion pairs of shoes. And if you go camping, oh, this feels so good on my face. Um, thank you. Uh, if you go camping, you can seal your camping things too. 
It looks like shoes, your tent. You can put this on your tent so your tent's water repel, um, water resistant. Oh, my face is so red. But yeah, so that is it. We have um, dipped, literally dipped our faces off. So once all of this is completely dry, I'll put all of these little um, decor items back together. I'll put the mirrors back in the frames. I'll set it all up. We'll take really, real, take really nice pictures so you guys can see. And then I'll write out the colors that I use. So if you guys want to replicate it, you can, um, you can get the same colors. But um, yeah, I'm. I think I'm pretty happy. So just look around your house. You can pretty much dip anything that's not your children or your husband. Husband is debatable. Um, you can. You don't have to have a new pair of shoes. If you have an old pair of shoes that you don't wear anymore, dip those. You don't need new shoes. You can just go find something in your closet. I know as women we have enough stuff, right? Um, you can um, go to your craft room. I know we all have went through where we bought a Cricut and we were gonna Cricut all the things. I know you have some stuff in there that you can spray paint and you can, um, you can practice dipping on. Uh, you can dip on anything, yes. So and anything can dip. So I still have stitches. I think I missed the call. I see a voicemail. That might be from my doctor's appointment. I've been waiting for um, the results for my biopsy. Um, my hands are kind of still um, okay. Um, I mean, they're, they're a little bit better. Uh, I have been dealing with, um, I went to the doctor yesterday. I have a bladder infection and a UTI and all of those fun things that we all love as women or as people in general. So that's been sucking really bad. Yes, all of this dipping is, not, is all marabou. So I will save this video. I will upload it to YouTube um, for you guys to reference back. And then um, tomorrow when we get in, I'll take pictures. I'll take nice pictures of all the things finished, everything put back together. Hi, Nikki. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Yeah, and, and just remember there is a lot of wonderful YouTube videos out there helping us show off this great product we sell. We appreciate everybody out there who makes yeah. YouTube videos for us. It's hard. YouTube yeah. videos are hard, y'all. And we appreciate <laughs> your help on advertising our products. Yeah. It, it's a wonderful help. So y'all please go check out everybody's YouTube videos. Like I said, there's so many different yeah views and ideas on how to do this stuff there's i've told you guys this right. a million times there's more than one way to skin a cat right so check them out yeah and there's a lot of people that does it with the marabou paints that is helping us advertise this awesome yeah. product so yeah thank you but yep all right guys we'll talk to y'all soon bye, bye.